This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Pins, Jim Marba. I'm in Rosal ABC today with me. I've got two time British champion Lenny Dawes. How are you, Len? All right? All good, mate. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a little while since we caught up, Len. I really wanted to just to sort of yeah. look back on your last European title challenge against Ruben Nieto. Quite a sort of controversial night and see what's going on in terms of where you're at and when you're next out, mate. Oh, um, yeah, as you said, we, we, we've got the rematch with Nieto. Um, we're in the gym training hall, we're just waiting for the date to be finalised. We find out next week, so yeah, we're just, just training for it. We know what we need to do, um, and we're going to get it right. Such a big night for yourself last time you fought Ruben Nieto, and ended in quite controversial fashion. The fight in itself, there was some controversies throughout the fight as well, but I want to look back on the fight now. What do you sort of, how do you assess your own performance that night? I felt I'd done okay. Um, oh, you know, it was messy at times where he's coming forward, I'm coming forward to his head on. We was clashing heads all night long. Um, unfortunately, he come off a bad clash there with the, the cut, so he couldn't continue. Um, but, but yeah, no, it's, it's just, just, just one of them, as you say, he, he, he had to come forward and stick it on me, um, and I was prepared to do the same, so it got a bit scrappy at times. But we know what we need to do this time, but. Uh, yeah, no, I felt I handled him okay. Um, I'm looking forward to doing it again with him, you know, I was straight away. Have you ever been disqualified in your career before this as an amateur or as a professional? No, never, no. Never been no, DQ? No. So you're not that, or no. on, in the history, you're not really that type of fighter to look no, to. No, that's right, yeah, in, yeah. Unintentionally yeah. or intentionally into someone with yeah, that. Yeah, as you say, I threw the shot, rolled in, he pulled me in, we fell into the corner. Um, and the ref really didn't know what to do. You see him holding two things up at one stage, he was going to knock two points off, but then his decision was to disqualify me, which is a mad one. Nieto knew he was losing, which he was on scorecards. He knows he's in for another hard night. You mentioned the ref again, obviously, there was a little bit of controversy. I think it was in the second round where it looked like you received a low blow. Yeah. He was then given a standing, what should have been a standing eight count, which looked like to be a standing probably five, five, six, five yeah, count, yeah, six yeah, count, which is unusual. Which is quite unusual yeah, to say yeah. the least. Um, yeah, no, he, he caught me low um, and I took a step back and he gave me a count as if to say, well, you, you, you took yourself away from the action, I'm going to give you a count. And it was, it was only a six, which was very strange, but, you know, we just had to push on. Um, I recovered, you know, but... Uh, you know, if, if I was in that much pain, you can take, a, you know, a lot longer time to recover. Um, yeah, just some of the decisions he was making was just complete wrong ones. But, you know, it's happened now and we've just got to put the record straight now. I've got to admire the way you sort of took disqualification, if you like, because there was no shouting and r in and I'm in from you and your team. You sort of accepted that you couldn't change the decision no, you've really then looked, yeah, looked yeah. to force the rematch which i think was a quite a sensible and grown-up sort of way to go well, about yeah it. once the decision's made what can you do about it you can be disappointed um up until then we still didn't know what what the result was going to be um so yeah we're just gonna have to put it you know put it aside that one and we go again and we're gonna get it right this time i know obviously how much it meant to you to to get a shot at winning that European title. You've only got to look at well. in your yeah, hometown yeah. as well. So you've only got to look at the fighters that have had that European title who have now kicked on to yeah. to look at world honours. The like of, the likes of Michele De Rocco, who I know you you've fought against in the ring, you'll know quite well. He's, he's now obviously taking on Ricky Burns. So there's it's, getting it out is, your friends, a very big big stepping stone to the next is, yeah, to the yeah, next world level, that's isn't definitely it? Definitely the title that gets you the, the opportunities. So we go again. We've got the rematch. Um, it's just finding out when and where, um, and we'll be ready. So. Led to believe purse bids will be next Tuesday. That's I, right, I 20, 20 seconds, yeah. 20 seconds. Um, so we find out, that's the latest we'll find out. We could find out in, in days. Um, but yeah, if not, we sit and wait till Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I'm in the gym now, we're, we're looking good. So yeah, let's, let's do it. What do you think on Ricky Burns taking on Michelo de Rocco? How do you see that sort of fight playing out, if you like? It's an interesting one, really. Yeah, as you say, um, now he's, he's stepped up. He, you know, he, he stepped up before, and he didn't perform that good. Um, it's a great opportunity for him, so he's got to grab it. Um, Michele Di Rocco is good on his feet. 
Um, so he's going to use a bit of ring craft there. Yeah, it's a bit of a 50-50 fight, really. It's, you know, the Rocco hasn't boxed for a year again, so inactivity there could, could help out Burnsy. So, yeah, it, it is, it's a, going to be an interesting fight. Not in any way looking past the Ruben Nieto fight, but would the winner of Ricky Burns versus Michele De Rocco interest you? Is that a fight? I'd love that... to, yeah. Get through Nieto. Definitely, why not? You know, that cap hold me up there. And uh, I'll be ready to mix at that level, you know, which I feel I am. Um, so yeah, it's just, just not looking past him, getting the result that we need and doing a job on him this time. How do you feel about going to Scotland though, if that opportunity arose, was that something you'd do? Well, you've got to, you've got to, you? that's the way you've got to look at it, you get one career, um, otherwise it could, it could go past you, um, someone else steps in, you miss the opportunity, so yeah, you've got to sit down with your team, think what's the best option, um, but yeah, definitely a possibility. Ashley Fearfane taking on Adrian Broner, the yeah. controversial enigma that is Adrian Broner. He's certainly certainly a character that we all sort of remember and his antics outside the ring yeah. keep us talking and laughing. What, what were your initial thoughts when you heard that fight's being made? Again, yeah, it was, you know, I know um, Fearfane's been doing quite a bit of Mayweather. Um, and yeah, he's, he's got his opportunity, he's got to grab it. Um, you know, he's established himself out there a little bit, he's, he's boxed some good opponents, um, getting decent sparring, so, you know, he's got to grab it as well, he's, he's not going to get a better chance, so, good luck to him, yeah, I hope, I hope he can pull it off, you know, it's just, it just just shows you, you know, Dorocco's getting his chance, Fearfane's getting his chance, it's, I'm almost, you know, I'm at that sort of level, he's just got to keep pushing on, get this win and it, it, it could happen. Will you be watching that fight as well with a keen eye? Is that, is Definitely, that yeah, that, I always, yeah, you? people my way always tend to sort of have a little look. But yeah, no, it's just, uh, I'll be, be keeping an eye on them, definitely. Mm, obviously, uh, Nick Blackwell defending his British title against Chris Eubank Jr. next Saturday at That's Wembley right, Arena. Yeah. Firstly, will you be at the fight? Will you be coming down and sort of giving Mick a bit of your presence for uh, Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, we'll be down there, yeah. Um, it's going to be an entertaining fight again. Um, Again, it's a, you know, a bit of a 50-50 fight. Uh, it's whoever gets on it early, gets going. So yeah, it's gonna, and whoever wins is going on to do big things, definitely. So it is a big fight for both of them, you know. So it's gonna be very, very interesting. And I think a lot of people will be tuning in for that one. How do you see it playing out? It's, uh, yeah, it's gonna get gritty, I think. Maybe Blackwell late on can, you know, start getting through it. Um, Taking you back in the trenches a little bit. Um, it's, it's tough, but yeah, obviously I've got, I'm going to go with Blackwell, I think. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It will be a, a very, very exciting fight. Do you think he's got the power to stop Chris Eubank Jr., in your opinion? Um, he's going to be in his face all night long, I think. He's going to put it on him. Um, so, he could do, yeah, I think he could do. As you say, with the combinations he's putting together, I think, you know, maybe some body shots he's going to be whacking in as it's going on. So, yeah, no, he's, he's going to, I think, if he wants to put a statement out there, he's, he's going to go for the stoppage. So, yes, I think he, he possibly really could push on and try and do it, I think. Yeah, Mick will be no doubt uh, excited this week, so hopefully we get a chance to catch up with him and have a chat about what's going on with yeah, yourself yeah, as well. Yeah, find out and get some dates and futures and stuff and then yeah that's it yeah we know where we're going then well listen we find out next tuesday about the ruben nieto stuff either way yeah i hope it's here because it's less ag for us all covering it and yeah, that so yeah, yeah. hopefully nice. we can bring it back to to this area again Carl you Shorten. never know yeah, back to nice. car shorten be lovely mate it would be nice yeah so fingers crossed and uh yeah we just uh, wait a few more days really and we know where we're going mm -hmm. all right well listen thank you very much and as soon as you know what's what please do give us an update on okay, the situation yeah. as of when you know Lovely, we'll do James. Cheers, Cheers man. Thank you.